Greetings. This particular meditation is for all us creatives on how to stay in the ebb and flow when we feel stuck in our process. And we all go through it. It's the ebb and flow of life and learning to recognize and befriending when an ebb is coming and when the flow is moving up and how to stay in it is a practice. I invite you all to gently close your eyes. Perhaps you feel your feet on the ground. And I want you to just imagine white light coming from the top of your head and any tension that you might feel Feel this white light, like liquid light, moving over your eyes and your throat and your shoulders and into your heart and your belly and all the way to the base of your spine where I now want you to imagine a grounding cord moving through wherever you're sitting and the ground below you and all the way into the core of Mother Earth and feel this white light and any tension that it's just dissolved, moving down into the grounding cord and being released into Mother Earth to be recycled as she sees fit. And now with your eyes gently closed, bring your awareness to your head and imagine all those thoughts that you have that bounce back and forth and shuffle around, just dropping, dropping down into your heart. And here in our hearts are usually where we can access our intuition, our knowingness. Usually when we're creating, we take the past with expectations of what we're going to create in the future and sometimes we forget to just stay in present time and as you take a few breaths in just feel yourself in this present moment we'll breathe in together breathing in breathing out Breathing in, breathing out. And one more time, breathing in and breathing out. Imagine a color surrounding you, a foot above your head and behind you, and on either side of you and below you, a color that to you represents creativity. Feel it in your pores. This is the color that motivates you, perhaps brings you inspiration. And now bring in a color that you might experience when you're creating and you're not sure where to go next or you walk into your studio or place of making and you just don't feel it. It's not there the motivation or the inspiration. The paintings might be on a wall or surrounding you. And the feeling just might be stuck. What color is that? Feel it above you, behind you, on either side of you rotating and swirling. And now as you bring it into your heart, imagine you're dropping it down and releasing it into your grounding cord to the earth to be recycled any way she sees fit. And now see if you can merge the color of creativity and the color of stuckness together. And in your mind's eye, what color? 
color does this make? This is a place of neutral neutrality. When you're neutral, not expecting to push through, nor expecting to be brilliant on command, but just being. Just feel this. Everything is okay. Being stuck is okay. Being in your flow is okay. Experiencing the ebb. A disconnect, a reconnect. It's all just okay. And now in your heart, imagine the color terracotta. It's permeating your whole body, bringing a neutral presence of okayness to your essence, no matter where you are today. So when we're done with this meditation and we move forward into our days, no matter where we are is okay. When we're creating and when we're not creating and when we're stuck, some of the best things we can do is just stay present to look, to clean our studios, to set up an altar in reverence to our own process, have that be a favorite rock or light a candle or put flowers in the space you create in as we wait because it always comes around again. As we sit here and breathe in and breathe out, imagine that feeling of just being with the work and knowing it will change. Eventually it will change. The word stuck can bring in so many connotations. But when we drop down from our heads and move into our hearts, and like a mantra, just breathe in present time, present time, I'm in present time, no expectations from what you made yesterday or last week or last month, no expectations of what you want that painting to be, moving our egos into it and either making a chaotic mess or pushing ourselves forward when maybe what time is asking for is a disruption of moving ourselves into connecting with our hearts and our centers. Higher consciousness moves this way sometimes. A vertical access from what comes from above, so below, with us in the middle. Just noticing all is okay. When we try to force images, sometimes we end up with chaotic messes, and sometimes chance or grace comes through, and we transport or transform to an epiphany to another level, but both are okay, because sometimes we don't. Can we allow ourselves to take a break? to read an inspiring book, to journal, or just make doodles or sketches. And for those that are on deadlines, 
This can be a little scary, but these breaks often allow for when we do return to be with fresh eyes. This is also a practice of changing perception of how we can look at what we have made or are making with fresh eyes, just dropping in to what is. So taking this terracotta color feeling in your heart, imagine it permeating through your being, your cells, moving out of your body, surrounding and enveloping yourself like an auric egg. The last perimeter, if you were to bring this terracotta like a protector, you hold that on the outside you bring in the color you made of neutral, new, what is neutral and internal in the internal self, in the body itself. The combination of color, creativity, and stuckness become neutral. And then allow opening at the top of your head light poison and started and your eyes and your neck and shoulders and your hearts and your bellies and even your hips and all the way down to your hips and toes. Then we listen to your hand and hold Open your eyes. Take in five things around the room to anchor yourself back in. Maybe you might want to pull out your paints or pastels or watercolors or whatever they are and see if you can make that color, the combination. The combination of stuck color and the combination of creativity and enjoyment.